Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily Twin Flame check-in for Saturday. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Structure deck to bring in a focus question. And then we're going to use whatever decks they guide me to. I have got three here, I'm going to see if I use them. And later on I'm going to do a new moon message about what the energy of this new moon is bringing in for both the masculine and the feminine. So do check that out as well. So what do we need to know today? What do we need to know today? So yesterday we did a one card spread and we connected with the energy. It was all about believing in the love. And today we've got three questions. So the first one is, how do others see your connection? How do others see your connection? You may be thinking about how does my mum see it? How does my dad see it? How do my friends see it? Other people, how do others see the connection? And the big message coming through is, who cares? Who cares what other people think? You know your truth. It matters what you think and what you feel and what you know. And I don't feel that this is how does my masculine see the connection. This is how do others see it. What do others think about it? When you walk into a room and your twin flame is there, everyone feels the power. Everyone. Why? Because you are a power couple. You are a power couple. What does the divine masculine want to say? So what do they want to say about the connection today? And why are they ghosting you? So again, this has come up constantly lately. Why are they ghosting you? What do they want to say when they are ghosting you? Maybe other people are saying to you, they're ghosting you. If he wanted to communicate with you, he would communicate with you. Well, guess what? Something big is about to shift here. Something big is about to happen. I don't know what it is or when it's coming, but it's going to blow your mind. Because the masculines want to open up to you. They want to make changes. They are visualising the future and they are taking a stand. And even when I'm connecting with the energy, it feels forceful. Forceful energy, like I'm talking louder. Because the masculines are stepping up into that leadership role. So the deck that guided me to use, which is really powerful. Not a deck I would have thought I'd used for this today. I want to use the Power Couples deck. So this is a deck I created with the help of the angels and, you know, with the power of the connection to connect with it. So first of all, how do others see your connection? And what does the divine masculine want to say? And why are they ghosting you? Wow, look how these are just moving around. So I'm going to use these deck. I'm going to bring in the other decks I chose as well. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Yin Yang Oracle for Lovers, Messages of Shadow and Light by Divine Visions. This is by our beautiful soul sister, Cherie. So... How do others see the connection? And what does the divine masculine want to say? Okay, what does the masculine want to say? What clear card, please, angels? And what why are they ghosting you? What are they going through? What are they going through? So this may really resonate again with the other readings we've been doing, but maybe you've tapped in, maybe you found this channel for the first time, and maybe some new information is going to come through here. So we're going to use Beyond Indigo Divine Guidance and Healing. So how do others see the connection? There it is. What does the Divine Masculine want to say? What does the Divine Masculine want to say? There it is. And why are they ghosting you? Why are they ghosting you? Now, what they're giving me intuitively when I'm connecting with why they're ghosting you is my ring's moving around on my finger. And it only ever does that when I'm channeling if there's going to be a change and that's a karmic change so i feel this is also about karmic relationships ending so he may very well be ghosting you because he's ending his marriage okay if, if your masculine is married as well so how do others see your connection how do others see your connection what do we need to know and what does the divine masculine want to say and why are they ghosting you this is the ocean of emotion debt by bridget rose so let's see that let's see so i'm going to put these to one side and we're going to start with how do others see the connection but the big message is who cares what people think who cares what people think so first of all we've got loyalty look at that forever yours so people around do actually see that this connection is a loyal connection so your family and friends and you know other people may see how loyal you are to them maybe they don't see how loyal your twin is to you but you do and that's what matters. They see loyalty in this connection. And your masculine sees loyalty in this connection. And that's why you've got the dog. So when the dog comes out, especially this year, it's a huge symbol of loyalty. And the white energy there is about purity. 
So it's a very pure connection too. So when I connect with your connection, I see it, yes, as loyal, but also pure and innocent and that you learn from each other because you are eternal beings, forever yours. So the message is forever yours. You are forever theirs and they are forever yours. Isn't that powerful? How do others see the connection? Back to nature, back to nature, back to basics, back to the beginning. That it's helped you to actually find yourself again. So this connection actually connects you with nature. So I will see the connection that you have more of a connection right now with the earth or with the elements or outdoors or with your own self. You know, she's kind of this ballet dancer in this card that I'm connecting with. You know, she could be doing yoga. She could be doing some other form of mindful meditation or exercise. So other people see that this connection has actually brought you closer to God, brought you closer to nature, to heaven, to your own self. Isn't that powerful? How do others see the connection? Avoidance, David and Elise. Now, this is really interesting because avoidance, so other people may think that your masculine is avoiding you or you're avoiding facing up to things. This is when people don't get the journey and they try and understand it. And David and Elise are from the film, The Adjustment Bureau. So Elise, did I say Elise? I'm going to say Elsie. No, I've got Elsie, maybe that's a sign for someone. But David and Elise are truly meant to be. But the Adjustment Bureau are trying to keep them apart because they both have other things to do. You know, David is going to be a congressman and Elise is a ballet dancer, which is, again, really interesting because I picked up on the ballet there as well. So the Adjustment Bureau, the Bureau, the powers that be, are trying to keep them apart. But they keep coming back together. Why? Because it's destiny, eternally yours, loyalty. You know, even when they go the separate ways, they're constantly thinking about each other and trying to find each other. So other people see that maybe there's some kind of avoidance happening, but also know that you're meant to be because you're meant to come back together. You're always coming back together. So that's how they actually see the connection. And we've got the light and the dark elements of it. I am breaking free from negative attachments. So other people may see that either you or your masculine are trapped in addictions, addictive behaviours, karmic situations. And the message is I am breaking free from negative attachments. So they want you to break free from anything negative. They may see your attachment as negative because they don't see you together or they don't feel the loyalty because they don't understand it the way you do. Or they may see that, you know, it's making you act crazy sometimes, addicted to the connection. But in spiritual truth, they know that you're, you're becoming more of your own natural self. So when I'm connecting with the journey and I feel it from a higher point of view, and when you connect with it from a higher point of view, you know this journey has tapped you back in with source. And it's put you back to nature. And the avoidance issues are connected with fear and the growth of the journey itself. And the way that it's all in divine timing and the way that we learn and grow apart and together. And also the fact that it's a very loyal connection too. And that we learn to break free from negatives and things that knock us down. It's time we got out and had fun. So, you know, your people, right, you say your, your friends, family, even parents. I've got some parents here as well when I'm connecting with the energy. You know, some of us have lost our parents, but... You know, maybe people are on the outside looking in thinking, you need to have some fun. When was the last time you had some fun? So your friends may be saying, why don't you date someone? Why don't you go out and meet someone? And you're saying, you know, I know I've been serious lately and I want to have some fun, but I don't need to go out and date to do that. So this is kind of that dolphin energy where the angels are reminding you to keep things playful, light-hearted, step out of the stress and step into the light energy. Things have been way too serious lately. It's time we got out and had some fun. So the seriousness is about the stress, the struggle, you know, operating in pain. And this is what your friends and family want. They want you to be happy and to be having fun and joyful, where, whoever it's with. So if they see you in that energy with your twin flame, they're going to accept your twin flame. But right now, they may not see that because they just see the darkness and the negatives. And they say, oh, there's someone else out there for you. There's something else for you. And that's how others see the connection. But it depends on how you're looking at it. When I'm looking at it, I see it as beautiful, loyal, you know, breaking free from the pain, focusing on the good, all these things. It depends who's looking at it and why. Are you looking at David and Elise thinking, 
Oh, they're never going to be together. Or are you looking at them thinking, of course, they're going to be together? It's obvious they're meant to be. And right at the end of the film, they kind of throw the guidebook away and say, OK, then you can be together because we're just tired of trying to keep you apart. And that's the way the journey works. So the energy around why are they ghosting you? Why are they ghosting you? The message coming through is anxious. Anxious. So they're anxious about it. They're anxious about contacting you because they know they may have been avoiding you. Or there may have been something going on. He's saying, I can't sleep. I, I can't sleep. I can't eat properly. I can't sleep. I don't eat and I have no sense of inner peace. So the masculine without you anyway is anxious. And he's anxious because he has this sense of urgency to contact you. So he's ghosting you until he can find the right time or feel a bit better. And he's struggling to sleep. He's saying, I don't eat properly. I have no sense of inner peace. I need to come back into your life. And sabotage, he ghosts you because he's self-sabotage. Things aren't always as they appear. So you're being reminded that it's not what you think. You may think they're ghosting you because they hate you or they don't want to be with you or they're avoiding you or any of these things. Things are not always what they see. Ghosting is processing. He's getting rid of that knife. You know, maybe he feels hurt, betrayed from the past and he's healing that abuse, those feelings, those wounds. So things are not always what they seem. Sometimes the masculine sabotage their own happiness because of their own anxiety and stress. Treat yourself. So they may be ghosting you because they're actually looking after number one right now. They're treating themselves. They're looking after themselves. They're giving back to themselves, self-love. They're having time for themselves. And that's a good thing. And also because they need to release anger. They don't want to take that anger out on you. They don't want to cause problems. They're protecting you from that negative vibration. And he's saying, my inner child is damaged from childhood wounds. And that's true. Sometimes the masculines can overeat. He's saying, I'm not eating, but he may be overeating. So again, you know, some masculines behave differently than other masculines, but they're all going through the same things, anxiety, childhood wounds, fears. And he's saying, I am on a journey of healing past the pain and free myself from negative self-beliefs. So he's ghosting you because he's actually working on healing himself. And we've got power couple, responsibility, William and Kate. And I chose this couple because, you know, William and Kate have got responsibilities. You know, they probably just want to run away and have a holiday together, but they have responsibilities. You know, they have to show up you know, for England and the world and they have to be there because that's expected of them. So there may be responsibilities keeping the masculine away, you know, and this could be connected with, you know, family, calming situations, children, responsibilities, keeping up appearances. So remember, things are not always what they seem. And we've got Xander and Anya overcoming differences. So they may be ghosting you because there's differences between you and they need to come to terms with that or overcome fears around that or actually work out what to do about it. And the differences can be things like age gaps, differences, cultural divides, you know, coming from different backgrounds, you know, religious beliefs, many, many things. But usually it's something as simple as an age gap because it is simple, age is illusion, like fear is illusion. And whatever your differences, whatever they may be, prove to yourselves in the world that love conquers all things. And Xander and Anya are different because this is in Buffy. Okay, Xander is human and Anya is a demon, well, a half demon. She's a demon and they fall in love anyway. You know, so it doesn't matter all the bad things they've done. And Xander accepted Anya no matter what she'd done. And this is about acceptance as well. So the masculine is also afraid that you're not going to accept them or reject them because of all the bad things they've done. And that's why he goes into anxiety and sleepless nights and worry because he knows he's behaved in a bad way and he's afraid that you're going to not want him anymore and he's worried what's going to happen. You know, he's thinking, is there going to be a knife put in my back? So that's why he's ghosting you. Next question, isn't this powerful? What does the Divine Masculine want to say? That's why I really like doing these structured readings because it brings out such power. So what does the Masculine want to say? I feel guilty. I'm riddled with guilt and shame. So he feels guilty about the past. He feels guilty for the things he's done. So remember, things are not what they seem. If you think he's ghosting you because he's not thinking about you, think again. He is thinking about you. He's got his head in his hand thinking, oh, I feel so guilty about what I've done. 
but I am determined. I'll never stop trying to do better. I'll never stop trying. And he's climbing up that mountain there, or that, you know, that, that hill, you know, that, that mountain top. He's saying, I'm trying my best. He's being guided by your light. And he's saying, I am determined to make this happen. I'm just really busy working. So he may also be working on himself. He may be working on what to do. He may be at work. So he's saying, I'm working. I'm just really busy working. So if you're wondering why the ghost in you, it's because he's working, working on the self, working on his issues, working on his fears that give me a block, <clears throat> working on releasing the blocks to be able to communicate. But he just may be working. He just may be at work doing his job. They give me a block in the throat irritation. You get irritated when really he's just doing his work. Ross and Rachel, divine timing. So the masculine is saying to you it's in divine timing. Look at Ross and Rachel and friends. They got together in the end. You know, it happened, it was meant to be, but wow, did it take time. And they were friends first. And there was, you know, Italian guys and Italian guys, that's what he says. And then they had a baby and then they still weren't together. So the universe creates the way it's in divine timing. So your mask is saying to you, remember, our journey is in divine timing. We've got peace. The mask is saying, let's focus on peace. Let's have a truce. Let's make up. Let's bring peace back into our connection. Peace is the answer. So I feel this is also a great sign about reconciliation, reunion. They're giving me fear coming back together. And remember, it's all in divine timing. Be the buzz you wish to see in the world. So the masculine is saying, wow, your light lights me up inside. You guide me back. When you're shining your light and operating in your power, divine feminine, I can't stay away from you. I want to be around you. So this is the energy where, as a divine feminine, we must and we should, I think, in my opinion, because it worked for me. And I wish I come, could go back a bit further and tell my younger self this and everything I did. If you operate in life, in life, you have the energy of life. If you are loving life and living life and having the time of your life, your masculine wants to be a part of that. He sees you buzzing and he wants to be a part of that. So it's like they give me the song from Jesus Christ Superstar. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Because he's curious about you. So he's saying, oh, I'm curious about you. Because you're living life, loving life, and I want to be a part of that, and I want to know that I'm not missing out. So your masculine is saying, I'm coming towards you because I don't want to miss out on this love. And he's saying, I've withdrawn because I feel numb inside. And when I'm with you, you bring out the best part of me. So he's ghosting you sometimes or being silent because he's withdrawn from everything. Maybe he's thrown himself into his job or, you know, he's working on himself or he's eating or he's not eating because he feels numb inside. Because when he's without you, he feels a big void. And he's saying, when I'm with you, you bring out the best part of me. So the big message here coming through is he's not ghosting you. He's busy doing his work or he's busy working on himself. See it in a different way. And it doesn't matter what other people think. They just want you to be happy. You know, people who really care about you just want you to be happy. And if they see you happy with your twin... They won't care who it is. They just want you to be happy. And people who don't get the journey, just don't get the journey. And their opinions don't matter anyway. In spiritual truth, you know the loyalty to you. You know that you've connected with yourself through this connection more. You've connected with source, the angels, heaven. You know you have an amazing connection. It's just sometimes timings and lessons and crazy gets in the way and blocks and we have to rise above and know that there's always a reason and we are safe. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.